Hi there, and welcome to day 14 of the 14 day challenge. I can't believe we're already at the last day of the challenge. Um, I hope that you have found this challenge to be challenging um, and also rewarding. I hope that you've moved a little bit. I hope it's expanded your knowledge of yoga. I hope you've felt more comfortable in your own body, uh, moving a little bit more. Um, I hope your hips feel more open and your heart feels a little more lifted and open. Um, so I hope that you found this challenge to be interesting, an opportunity to tap into your body, uh, and I hope that you've stuck with me all 14 days. Um, and if you're here, awesome. If you made it all 14 days, like amazing. Thank you for, uh, and thank yourself for showing up for 14 days of yoga. Uh, that's pretty intense, no matter what style of class it is. That's, that's a big commitment. So, um, yeah, give yourself some love for showing up. Or if you're just here for the first video, and this is your first video, welcome. <laughs> this is day 14. So, uh, to end this challenge, uh, let's start laying down today. A little bit different than most of the classes. So lay down and get comfortable, whatever that means for you. And a Shavasana pose. and let the feet fall away from one another. Left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly. And take a full inhale through your nose. Exhale it out. Take a full inhale through your nose. Exhale it out. Last time, full inhale through your nose. Exhale it out. <sighs> Keeping the eyes closed and just resting the palms on your body. And tuning into your back body, so the back of the legs, the back of the heels the back of the glutes, the spine, the shoulders, even the arms and the head. Just become very aware of all the pieces that are softening on the mat right now and see if you can melt them, soften them just a little bit more as we fall down and soften down onto the mat. And so as we breathe here, first think about the past 13 days, the past 13 classes. Maybe think about where you started at the beginning of class, beginning of the first class. Maybe that was your first ever yoga class. Maybe you're here to restart your practice and just try and remember what that felt like. Try to remember the thoughts that went through your mind, the fear, the ego that came up, maybe told you you couldn't do it, any, uh, any poses that you really struggled with. Just take a moment to reflect on that. Then as we look to the future, we just look to this moment. You know, let's not look to the future, just looking right now, where we are, where we lay. Focus on your intention for today's class. Why are you here? Why are you here for this class? Why are you here for this challenge? Why did you take this program? Just reflect on that. There's always something deeper there, so just notice what surfaces for you. And take a full inhale through your nose. Exhale it out. Again, full inhale through your nose, breathing fully. Exhale it out. Last time, full inhale. And then the exhale, softening the legs all the way through the toes. 
And then keeping the left leg heavy as you open the eyes. Reach the arms up towards the sky. Reaching through the toes. And then we'll hug that right knee into your chest. Up by the hip up by the shoulder, rocking the knee side to side, loosening up the tension there. And then we'll grab the back of that right leg, intertwining the fingers behind, reaching through the right heel as we straighten that leg. So reaching the heel towards the sky, pointing and flexing that foot, rolling out the ankle, and breathing here, checking back in with that left leg, soften it. Keep breathing. Can you soften the shoulders too as you breathe? Can you reach through the right heel a little bit more, breathing into the stretch? <sighs> Rebending the right knee, drape it across the chest to the left, gentle twist. And coming back to center. Releasing the right leg nice and long, softening it on the earth. Take the left leg into the heart, into the chest, left knee, rock it side to side. Loosening up the left hip. And then intertwining the fingers behind the left thigh as you press through the left heel, reaching it towards the sky. And again, pointing and flexing that foot rolling the ankle softening that right leg and the shoulders towards the earth keep lifting through the left heel and hugging the knee into the chest Draping it over to the right, shift the gaze to the left. And coming back to center, hug it into your heart. And bringing both knees into your chest, rocking side to side. And then forward and back as we make our way into a yoga squat taking your time to get there. Feet are hips distance or maybe a little wider like mats distance and just giving the hips some time to breathe. Shift the weight into the heels, bring the palms together, elbows inside the thighs, opening up the legs, the heart wide across the collarbones. Take a full inhale, bringing the heart to the thumbs. And exhale, round the spine, reaching through the fingers. Inhale, bring the thumbs to your heart, lift through the crown of the head. Exhale, round the spine, reaching through the fingers, navel in. Last time, inhale, open the heart. And exhale, round the spine, pull the navel back, reaching through the fingers. And press the palms on the earth. Straighten the legs, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. <sighs> Grabbing opposite elbows, rocking from side to side. Shake the head out, yes and no. <sighs> and releasing the arms towards the earth. Slight bend in the knees, ragdoll, rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Roll the shoulders up and back. Inhale, arms to the sky. Palms touch, slight back bend. Bring the thumbs to the forehead, the lips, the heart, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Reach the inner thighs back behind you. Exhale, release the hands. Toe heel the feet back to shoulder width distance or hip distance. And then drop that right leg back, releasing the, the right knee. As we rise up, low lunge, shift the hips down, reaching through the fingertips. 
Inhale, lifted through the ribs, creating space in that midsection. Full inhale. Exhale, release the hands down, flip the right toes, lift the back leg, rising up high lunge, just for a moment, and then open up warrior two. So front heel to back arch, get that alignment so you can focus on the fingers, the shoulders softening. Breathing here. Bending the front knee one more inch. Take one more breath, gazing over the left middle finger. And bring the hands to your hips. Straighten that left leg. Bring the feet parallel so they're facing the right side of your mat. I'm gonna turn around so you can see me a little better. So feet are parallel, right? Then rotate the heels in, bending the knees, sink the hips, coming to a goddess pose. So basically a wide leg or a wide squat. Place the hands on the thighs, sink the hips low, weight is in the heels. Dropping the right shoulder inside, pressing the palm, the thigh away from you just gently. Coming back to center, drop the left shoulder. You can feel the stretch along the left side body. Keep the hips low, rotating the right shoulder, dip it low. And back to center, connecting with the breath, remembering to breathe. Keep the hips low. And coming back to center, keeping it low, pressing into the heels, rise the fingertips to the sky, rotate the heels out, feet are parallel, hinge at the hips, forward fold. Releasing the upper body, the neck, the shoulders, the arms. <sighs> and so the upper body is soft. The inner thighs press back behind you. Shift the weight into the toes and then take the hands over to the right side. So reaching for the foot, the ankle, the calf, and then softening the shoulders and the neck. <sighs> Keeping active through the inner thighs, reaching back behind you. And then bring the hands back to center over to the left side. Again, holding on to the foot, the ankle, the calf, softening the head and the shoulders. Breathing fully, inner thighs reach back behind you. <sighs> Releasing that leg back to center. Sliding the fingers to frame that left foot. Hold it here, press the right heel back in space. Plant the palms, lift the left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Left knee forward, coming to half pigeon on that left side. So sinking the hips low, bring the fingertips in line with the hips. Slight back bend, lift the heart. Exhale, lowering down to the mat. Releasing the arms, chest, and forehead. <sighs> Where can you soften? This pose makes it hard to do sometimes, but where can you let go? What are you holding on to that you don't need in this moment? Take in one more full breath. Slowly rising up. Plant the palms, flip the right toes, bring the left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Release that leg. Looking forward, shift the hips, coming forward to plank. Pressing the earth away, long through the crown of the head, lowering the knees, chest, and chin to the mat. Palms wide, tent the fingers, 
Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, release. Press the palms to the mat. Pressing the hips away, hips back to the, the ankles. Let the forehead soften. And when you're ready, downward facing dog. Take a full inhale through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. <sighs> Looking forward, walking the feet outside the hands, coming again to that yogic squat. Palms touch, elbows inside the thighs. Open up the hips, palms together, lift through the crown of the head, full inhale. Exhale, round the spine, reaching through the fingertips, pull the navel in. Inhale, palms together, lift through the crown of the head. Exhale, rounding the spine, reach through the fingertips. Last time, inhale, lifting through the crown of the head, collarbones wide. And release, pull the navel in, reaching through the fingertips. Release the hands to the mat. Straighten the legs, pull the heels out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. <sighs> Bend the knees, ragdoll, rolling up one vertebrae at a time, taking your time, enjoying the journey all the way up to the top. Roll the shoulders up and back. Inhale, arms to the sky. Slight back bend. Bring the thumbs to the forehead, the lips, the heart, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back with the left leg, drop the left knee, come into a low lunge on the left side. Keeping the hips low, breathing into the left hip flexor, travel, float the fingers to the sky. And sing lifted from the hips to the ribs, creating space, opening that front body. Take a full inhale. Exhale, release the hands. Slip the left toes, lift the left knee, press through the left heel, rising up, low lunge, just for a breath. Keeping the hips low, active through the fingers, and then opening up, warrior two. So front heel to back arch, shoulders over hips, reaching from fingertip to fingertip. <sighs> Breathing here. Bending that front knee one more inch. And then bring the hands to your hips. Straighten that front leg. Bring the feet parallel to the left, facing the left side of the mat. And then rotate the heels in, sinking the hips down, coming into goddess pose. So keeping the hips low, breathing here, keeping the shoulders over the hips. You can stay here or place the palms on the thighs, dropping the right shoulder in, feeling the stretch on that right side body. And then the left side. Keeping the hips low, remembering to breathe. One more time, each side. Coming to the right side, dropping the right shoulder. Back to center, left side. Keep the hips low, creating a lot of heat. Back to center, press into the heels, rising up, fingers to the sky, rotate the heels out, hinge at the hips, forward fold. And softening the back of the neck, the back body, the head. Mm. Inner thighs reach back behind you so the eggs are, the legs are energized. They're active. <sighs> Rocking the weight from the heels to the toes. Mm. Taking one more full breath, breathing into the back of the heart. Placing the hands on the earth, 
sliding the palms to frame that right foot, pressing through the left heel, and then lifting that right leg up and back, three-legged dog, bringing the right knee forward, half pigeon on the right side. And if you have any props or pillows, anything you want to place underneath that right hip for a little more support, fingertips in line with the hips. Lift the heart, long spine, walking it down, releasing the forehead to the mat. Thinking, where can you soften? Hmm. See if you can challenge your mind to be nowhere but this moment, this inhale, and then that exhale, nowhere else, nowhere else matters. There's nothing you can do right now that will change anything from the past or in the future. So just breathe here. Just breathing in the shape, breathing through the mind jargon. That's what most of this practice is, is breathing through the jargon. And take one more full breath. And then slowly rising up. Removing the blanket, the prop from that right hip. Plant the palms, lift that right leg up and back. Three-legged dog. And releasing that leg. Taking one more full inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Release the knees to the earth. Melt the forehead. And taking the arms behind, let the palms rest up. Shoulders and arms are soft. And I like to think of the forehead like an ice cube on a warm day or popsicle, letting the sun melt it, soften, letting go. And in this stillness, think about the intention you set at the beginning of class. Why'd you roll out your mat? Why'd you join me today? Why'd you take this practice? or this course, what comes up? And slowly rolling up, coming to a seated position on the mat. So bringing the legs out nice and long. Bring the palms or the fingers nice and long in front of you. Rolling all the way down onto the mat. Reach the fingertips up overhead. Stretch through the toes. <sighs> Hug the knees into your chest. Rock side to side. Mm. And plant the feet on the earth, knees to the sky. We'll come to a bridge pose. So walking the heels in towards the glutes. Rest the palms on the thighs or on the earth face down. And then pulling the navel in and down so the lower back is flush on the earth. Press into the heels and start lifting the hips up one vertebrae at a time. And no rush here. So keep the knees in line with the hips. If it feels good as you lift the hips, if you want to shimmy the shoulders underneath, to clasp the palms, open the heart a little more. Keep pressing into the heels. Keep lifting the hips, opening that front body. Keep opening, keep breathing. Keep pressing into the heels. Taking one more full breath into the heart. And slowly lower the hips all the way down to the earth. Bringing the feet mat's distance. Rocking the knees side to side. Ah. 
Hug the knees into the chest. Shift the hips to the right. Drop the knees to the left. Arms out to a T. Shift the gaze over the right shoulder. <sighs> Breathing here. Notice where the breath goes in this shape. That's really all we're doing. Noticing where you hold the tension. How does the breath change? Any thoughts that come to mind? And coming back to center, switch sides. Shift the hips to the left. Drop the knees to the right. And shift the gaze over the left shoulder this time. And again, checking those three things. Where is the tension? How does the breath change? Or where does it move in the shape? And what thoughts come up for you? That's really all this practice is. As we just create shapes, we breathe, we tune in. And so if you could challenge yourself to do that for each pose, you'll have a really strong practice and you'll know a lot about yourself in the process. Now bring the knees back to center. Coming to happy baby, arms inside the legs, grab the outsides of the feet, pressing the lower back to the earth, knees towards the armpits, and rock side to side. And then we'll make our way into final Shavasana. Releasing the legs nice and long. Let the feet fall away from one another. Arms by your side, palms to the sky. And take a full inhale through your nose. Exhale it out. <sighs> As we settle in here, taking a moment to thank your body, thank yourself for showing up, the energy and the effort, the strength that your body just walked you through in the last few minutes of class. And letting your mind enjoy the stillness is oh, how often do we let ourselves just lay in stillness? Take a full inhale through your nose. Exhale it out. We'll be here for about a minute, and then I'll wake us up to finish class together. Welcome home, my friend.
slowly start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Reaching the arms up overhead, stretch from your fingertips to the tips of your toes. And take your time rolling onto your right side body. And take a moment, we'll meet up in a nice seated position on your mat. Keeping the eyes closed. And take a full inhale through your nose. Exhale it out. <sighs> inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. I always close practice with a moment of gratitude. So think of one thing you're grateful for. Hold it in your heart right now. Now we'll close our practice with an ohm. Join me. Take a full inhale. Um. Namaste. Thank you, my friend. Congratulations, you have just finished day 14 of the 14 day challenge. You're all done. I would uh, challenge you to do it again <laughs> um, and again and again, or go out and try some teachers and studios, uh, restart your practice or start your practice from here. Uh, you have everything you need to continue with the practice. Um, so thank you again for showing up. Thank yourself for showing up. Show yourself some love. That's uh, no small task, 14 days of yoga. <laughs> um, so that is some serious commitment and I hope you stuck with it. You can always restart it, try it again, hop around, try different classes. Um, so thank you again for showing up. Um, when uh, at the end of every class, when I say think of something you're grateful for, uh, I truly do think of you um, and anyone else that practices with me. I think of my students. Uh, I'm so grateful to share this practice with you and I hope that it ignites something in you that um, helps you become the best version of you uh, in whatever in whatever way that looks to you. All right. So thank you again, my friend. I hope to see you again soon. Namaste. Have a great day and I will see you another time. See ya.